Recently, I've been playing this absolutely awesome backrooms game. One of the levels is this pitch black room and the only way to see is by using this kind of lidar scanner to map out points of geometry. It feels really cool to play and gives the map almost this fourth dimension of the unknown and acts like a really awesome mechanic. If you've never heard of LiDAR before, it stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It's often used by satellites to measure the distances to Earth. It's even used in modern mobile phones for artificial reality experiences. However, our case, we're mapping points on objects using an extremely similar method. In this video, I'm going to be recreating this effect inside of Unity. The resulting system feels really cool and looks pretty incredible, so stick around to the end to see how it turns out. So I started off by creating a simple player to be able to move around the scene with. I can walk, jump, and look around the space. Currently it feels very empty, because it is. Uh, <laughs> there's not much fun when it's simply just a flat plane to move around on in the middle of the sky. Now onto the actual meat of the video, creating the LiDAR system. Now, in the Backrooms game, they use a random distribution of points on the world. However, I'm going to opt for a more uniform distribution. Now, there are a countless number of ways to probably distribute a number of points in a circular area. However, I settled for using the Sunflower Seed Arrangement. So I got to work incorporating the formula into my project. If you're interested in the exact math that goes into these numbers, I've linked some resources in the description below about these topics, which will be able to explain it better than I ever could. The result of this math is quite interesting to look at and play around with. There are a few inconsistencies in the placement towards the center, however for our purposes this is absolutely perfect. Now that we have a selection of points around the center of our screen, we can essentially project them onto the surface of the world. You may have heard the term ray casting before, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing to project these points. The result of this looks interesting. As you can see, the points being projected further away are smaller, showing that they are indeed being shot into the geometry of the world. This is great and all, but currently, if we look in the same place, all the points will be overlapping. This is where a little bit of randomness comes into play. We can offset the points each time by a random number. This ends up looking very chaotic, however, we'll all start coming together in the next step. Now we can store them as continuous points rather than clearing the point cache every frame. Once we do this, we can see how the randomness falls into place and how the general system works. The scene geometry is drawn by a large number of points mapped to the objects. This doesn't reveal too much detail, but is enough to move around safely once we turn off all the lights. Who knows, I might end up using the system to make a game in the future, so let me know if you guys are interested of seeing something like that. I then linked up the mouse, so points are only drawn when the mouse button is down. This means the player can choose to save the memory of points and only reveal when they need it. Speaking of which, what happens when we have way too many points? Currently, when a large number of points are in the system, the computer really struggles to render them all. Even with a decent graphics card, we've dropped from hundreds of frames down to the low tens. The solution is to have a max limit of points to render. We can then remove the oldest points once we've reached the limit. The result of this is interesting and works well at discarding old points from view. And the application speed is very thankful for this addition. And now, what if we want different colors to signify different objects? Say, the ground be white, whereas an object be red? The answer is this to have several pools of points to draw from, each representing a different color point to draw, and simply add points to each pool based on the tag of the object the ray hits. Now, there are probably much better ways of handling this, however, this project is more of a proof of concept rather than expertly crafted demo. This helps the scene look way more defined and is super satisfying to finally have different colors being drawn to the world other than red. Now, in the Backrooms game, there is a slider which allows the player to control the spread of the scanner, and I thought this project feels incomplete without it, so I added a quick control system to be able to increase the distribution constant we introduced before in order to change the spread of the LiDAR. And here's a cool car I imported into the project. I feel it turned out really well, and I'm uh, pretty happy with the result. Well, that about does it for today's video. If you're more interested in this topic, I've left the resources down in the description below that I've used to figure all this stuff out.
And if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.